In this video, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial about how you can play better defense against the trips tight end in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now again, guys, we're talking today about the nickel 335 wide defense. And so if you have not already picked up my nickel 335 defensive guide, I'm going to highly, highly recommend that you go ahead and do so. And the reason why is because it is simply the best defensive system in Madden 21. We walk you through exactly how to run it, exactly how to use this uh, or this defense in a way that is going to get you consistent stops and win you more ball games. This is the exact defense that I use um, whenever I'm playing for money, whenever a you know a big game is on the line. This is the deep. This is the deep defense that I will consistently go back to. And so I would encourage you, if you have not already got it, to get it. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. It is just 15 bucks. Now, in this video, we're talking specifically about a coverage defense that you can use to have quite a bit of, su of success against a um, against a trips tight end style of offense. And so it's really an, an, an amended coverage. It's something I'm really becoming fond of myself, honestly. Um, and it's the ability to take a match coverage and really kind of turn it into something a little bit unique. And so um, I'm going to be doing this out of the cover four show two from the three through five wide. You might have noticed, but I have not set any of my zone drops. So the first thing we're going to start off with here is I actually want to show you um, a defense out of the nickel normal. So if I head over to the nickel normal here and I go to the cover six, you're going to see that this is a match style of defense. And so if I go to, you know, one of my favorite passing concepts from trips tight end, the doubles and sale to me is the hardest concept to consistently stop. And so if we watch the, if we watch that X receiver here, you actually notice that the soft squat will drop right into the position at which that, that guy is 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 going to be open. Let me show you curl flat. You're going to probably notice a little bit of a similar uh, feature. This is why cover six is so unique. It's so interesting. I think it's actually very, very powerful. You'll take a look here again, and you'll see that the soft squat will literally play it. Okay, it's a very simple little thing. So that begs the question, as we shift into the three through five wide, what if we did the same thing from this defense? And so what I like to do out of this is literally, you're gonna see, I'm gonna shift my D line to the right. I'm gonna put my user in a little bit of a bluff blitz, just like this. And then I'm gonna start adjusting some things. And I think you're gonna get a lot out of these adjustments. So basically what I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to play a soft squat uh, on the right. So as you'll see here, he, uh, the corner is now in a soft squat. And then I have a lot of different options that I can do I can with this guy right here, Jackson. I can do a lot of things with him. Um, for right now, I just want to show you this just like this with this one little simple adjustment. And I wanna go back to that same concept from doubles in sale. And I want you to watch the X receiver. If you watch this X receiver, watch what happens here. He is going to get played very nicely. And the beauty of this is your flat zone is still going to match on that right side of the field. So the running back is still basically in match coverage. So the way that this is uh, kind of gonna be explained maybe a little bit better is if I go to the play curl flat, right? Another great concept from this formation. And so if I go to the play curl flat, you'll watch here and you'll see the running back will get matched across as you see right there. He gets matched, he gets he gets uh, covered in match coverage. And then on the left side, you see if we jump into insert replay, you're gonna notice that we still have some uh, you know, we still have this nice coverage here on the tight end. So again, you'll see here, he's taken, he's basically taken away, okay? Soft squats, I think are a very, very underrated zone. And, and I think it's because most people don't really understand like how they work. Um, a soft squat is basically the in-between zone of a curl flat um, or a uh, cloud flat and a hard flat. A little bit more in depth, maybe is a soft squat is a match coverage type of a zone. It's similar to a quarter flat. It's even similar to a seam flat in that regard. And so um, you'll see, I can sit in this little soft squat right here and the soft squat will play a lot of what people like to do. Now let's shift gears for a moment and let's talk about another 
concept that is very popular out of this formation and that is something like the pa counter go and so if we try to do something like a pa counter go type of thing i just want you to watch what happens here um, we're going to see that this circle receiver is actually going to get wide open as you can see right here he gets wide open just like always in this formation it's very difficult to cover this guy it really is and so we've got to come up with you know a plan of how we're going to do that and really um you know one of the ways that we can try some adjustments here is we can basically you know put the the linebacker on the left side into a little bluff blitz three rec hook type of situation and just kind of see what he does right just kind of see you know how this works again um these are just simple little adjustments that you can do with your coverage but you'll see here, I mean, he does pretty much get open. But look at that right there. I mean, the soft squat, and again, of course, it was a bad throw. But the soft squat can go back onto that ball, okay? The, the soft squat can drift back into that situation. We talked a little bit about how to do that with zone drops from the same principle. But my question to you today is how do you do this with match coverage? You know, really, how do you, how do you get this done with match coverage? Well, the first step that you want to take is if they are in a three-by-one setting like they are right now, then I would highly encourage you to take this blitzing linebacker and just simply man him up onto the um, circle receiver. Man him up onto the circle receiver, shade inside. It's going to help you with a lot of stuff. It's not going to stop everything, but it is going to help you with a lot of stuff. The next step that I would tell you is go ahead and put that three rec on the field. You always want to have a three rec on the field. Um, it just helps. It just helps. Okay. And then as you can see here, this is kind of what we've created, what we've crafted. And so now this defense is going to be fairly effective. The biggest thing that we have to understand or the biggest thing that we have to do is we just have to make sure that we're doing our part in watching the things like this little deep, this little deep route. But as you can see right there on that, everything is pretty much covered. If I show you the instant replay, you're going to see that we have these flood concepts that are so doggone hard. And the reason the flood concepts are hard is because they go away from the user. Okay, they go away from the user. They're not in the middle of the field, so it's hard to use them. But as you can see right here, we've taken away the flood to the right, and we've taken away the flood to the left. So it leaves us with this one issue, this one issue, and that is the issue of something like a play uh, like P Pat's YN. Okay, and so I'm going to share this with you. And again, what we're going to do is, you know, basically something like, you know, this right here. You know, we might even take this guy and put him on a little option route or something. So this is a kind of a standard little yard gainer type of play. And you're going to notice that this defense is actually going to do a pretty doggone good job at, uh, at taking this away. And so again, we're going to do our adjustments. Our adjustments are we shifted our defense to the right. We put our defensive end on the right side into a bluff blitz. We put our corner on the right side into a soft squat. We put our safety on the right side into a deep half. So essentially we're creating cover two, um, cover two sink to the right side. And then on the left side, we've got circle uh, manned up with that blitzing linebacker. And we've got basically a cover four uh, quarters style of defense. And so if they motion this guy across, you're gonna see with this little motion here obviously you're going to kind of use her right in here and as you can see i mean you've got pretty much everything taken away what i love about this defense what i love 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 about this defense is this right here i want you to watch what happens this is one of the best routes in the madden 21 literally pound for pound this is one of the best routes in madden 21 the skinny post route um and really any in breaking post if you take a look at this you're going to see that he's getting really i mean there's He's probably got, we've probably got three people that are going to eventually play this guy, right? So he's not really going to happen. And you force your opponent to have to come underneath a lot more. That's why I like this defense so much. Your user is super important. You want to make sure that you're doing a good job of usering in the middle of the field. But outside of that, this thing is very, very good. It can contain even the best trips tight end style players that you're going to face. And I think it can really honestly put trips tight end to bed a little bit. Okay, this is a very nice little pa passing defense. You'll see here, um, you've got your little crossing rounds, but this thing will match really, really well. The primary thing that you need to take care of yourself is indeed things like the crossing route from left to right. But as you can see, overall, the defense is very, very sound. Thanks for watching this video. Like I said, if you want to get the entire and exact defense that I run in tournaments and in money games, I'm going to leave a link to that in the video in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will catch you guys next time.